Hi everyone, we are Naked Voices, UCSB's premier co-ed acapella group. We're having fall quarter auditions week one over Zoom, so if you're interested in auditioning, please email ucsbnakedvoices at gmail.com. Now without further ado, here's our set. Where's all my soul sisters? Let me hear y'all flow, sisters. Give it to me. Good afternoon, new gauchos. My name is Jeffrey Stoppel. I'm Associate Vice Chancellor for Undergraduate Education and Professor in the Department of Mathematics. I'm honored to serve as host of today's convocation ceremony. It's my pleasure to be among the first to welcome you to the University of California, Santa Barbara and today's ceremony. And let me also offer my thanks to UCSB's own a cappella group, Naked Voices, for sharing their music today. This afternoon, we're joined virtually by our faculty and staff community in your honor to witness and celebrate your induction into UC Santa Barbara's academic life. These UCSB community members are from across our three colleges, our senior administrators who represent services and programs that will support you during your time at UCSB, and student leaders eager to welcome you to our vibrant university. Convocation is an annual gathering to honor all our new students and welcome you into the experience of higher education. This year is different in many ways, but our traditions hold strong now more than ever. This afternoon, we welcome you into the UC Santa Barbara family, into your new community. Now I'd like to ask UCSB's a cappella group, Naked Voices, to join us again in the singing of the national anthem. We ask you to stand. Oh, say can you see by the dawn 
dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free, of the free, and the home of the brave. Thank you, Naked Voices. The word convocation means literally a calling together. It's a chance for our academic community to gather together to welcome you, our newest members, and to introduce ourselves. The faculty joining us virtually today represent the entire range of academic inquiry. Over the next few years, these faculty and others will become your teachers, mentors, research partners, and in many cases, your friends. Today, our hope is to communicate to you a little bit about who we are, about the values we hold, and the expectations and hopes we have for you. To begin, our first speaker is Dr. Pierre Wiltius, the Executive Dean of the College of Letters and Science and Professor of Physics, who will welcome you on behalf of the faculty at UC Santa Barbara. Hello, new students. I am so happy to be here to welcome you to UC Santa Barbara. Though this year is starting differently, our university is above all else a community, and I am excited that you are a part of it. I want you to know that no matter where you are, you are already a gaucho, and I hope that in the years to come, you will make the most of that honorable title. Study, do research, have adventures, Make lifelong friends and go out into the world proud to be an ambassador for UCSB. When I think about our new students, I am in awe of how much promise and potential you have. You are just beginning one of the most stimulating times in your life. And that even though you are a new to this university, I know that you will leave your mark on it. I also know that right now, many things about our future seem uncertain. You might be feeling disappointed that you are missing out on some traditional college experiences, like move-in day and learning how to carefully cross our crowded bike lanes. You might wish that you could be studying on the beach instead of in your childhood bedroom. I know we are all yearning for the sights and sounds of our beautiful campus right now. But I commend you for doing your part to keep your fellow students and community members safe. As you begin your time at UCSB, I have just a few pieces of advice for you to keep in mind. Number one, I think that you will find that your college education is so much more than what you learn inside the classroom or Zoom meeting, as the case may be currently. At UCSB, we want our students to be prepared intellectually and socially. We want them to be involved, to be able to think for themselves, and to question what they have learned. We are committed to offering as many ways as possible to help you stay immersed in academics and student life, even when you are not physically here. So. In addition to signing up for classes, I urge you to join causes and groups that interest you and to reach out to any club or organization that sounds appealing. I know of them, many of them are welcoming new members from afar. 
the small steps you take to connect with other students and find your own personal community now will pay off immensely in the years to come. Number two, remember that education is a process. Don't get discouraged if your first major isn't the perfect one for you or if a new activity you try isn't to your liking. Small corrections are an essential part of life. I started out as a math major, which was too difficult, so I switched to theoretical physics, which was still too hard, and then eventually settled on experimental physics. It went from being my major, to my specialty, to my career. Sometimes it takes a few tries to find your true calling, and you have to be open to all the possibilities. And finally, number three, try to find the opportunity in any challenge. This goes far for a hard course, a professor or TA you don't see eye to eye with, or even for starting college during a global pandemic. Remote learning has challenged your instructors to think about the ways they teach and how to convey their lessons more concisely and more visually. It will probably challenge you in ways you can't anticipate, but maybe it could also be an opportunity to take a class or explore subjects that you otherwise would not, to hone your study methods and organizational skills, or to ask more questions than you might if you had to raise your hand in front of a large lecture. I encourage you to strive for curiosity and connection while you are a student here. I encourage you to leave this community better than you found it. And if I could make one final request, take care of each other and take care of yourselves. Thank you and good luck. Thank you, Dean Weltius. I am pleased to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Henry T. Yang, the fifth chancellor of the University of California, Santa Barbara, and a professor of mechanical engineering. No one is more dedicated to our educational mission and our community, and I am honored to welcome him to today's celebration. Welcome to our 2020 convocation. Welcome freshmen, welcome transfer students, welcome everyone. Today we celebrate an important milestone in your lives, the beginning of a new intellectual adventure. This comes at an unprecedented time for all of us. We are confronted with the, the continuing effects of a global pandemic, social injustice, and discrimination. We must seize this moment in history to address profound issues of racism and inequity and take action for the greater good of humanity. As this academic year begins, we recognize the sacrifices you have made and the challenges that lie ahead. We are here for you. We pledge to take care of each other, learn from each other, and meet these challenges together. We applaud your achievements, your hard work, which have brought us here today. We honor your resilience, courage, and compassion, and your commitment to advancing your education during a time of much uncertainty. We know this is not the fall quarter we envisioned, but we hope the sacrifices you make now will have long-term benefits for our campus community and for our families and friends. We eagerly await the day when we all can be together again in the classrooms and on our vibrant campus. It is not the same without you, but the journey we are on together is not limited by time or by the borders of our beautiful campus. 
we remain wholly committed to our academic journey together and to the educational research and service mission of our university. Our campus and staff, you are fellow students, and my wife, Dylan, and I are excited to welcome you to our academic community. Wherever you may be right now, we are connected together. We are UC Santa Barbara. You are part of a very talented, diverse, and highly selective group of students. Among our, our 110,000 applicants, we selected you. And we are very pleased that you selected us as well. We have made the best, you have made the best decision of your life. We are proud of you. You can be proud of our campus as well. We are one of 62 members of the prestigious Association of American Universities, the first to be federally recognized as Hispanic serving institution. Our AAU distinction places among the top 2% of all universities in the United States and Canada. Did you know our faculty have been awarded six Nobel Prizes during the last 20 years? And in 2009, a UC Santa Barbara alumna also won a Nobel Prize. An analysis by Times Higher Education in London ranked 750 universities worldwide for producing Nobel laureates in this century. UC Santa Barbara ranks number nine. Our world-class faculty also includes recipients of the Pulitzer Prize, Millennium Technology Prize, National Medal of Technology, Guggenheim and the Fulbright Fellowships, Academy and the Emmy Awards, Fields Medal, Breakthrough Prize, and so many more. Earlier this month, U.S. News ranked 1,452 universities in the country. Among all public universities, UC Santa Barbara is number six. U.S. News also ranked us among public universities number five for best colleges for veterans, number 10 for best best ethnic diversity, and the number nine for top performers on social mobility. These rankings acknowledge our stature as a top uh, tier research institution, as well as our commitment to academic excellence, diversity, inclusion, accessibility, and affordability. Teaching is at the heart of our mission. Classes starts on Thursday. I am teaching an undergraduate course this quarter too. Our dedicated faculty and staff members have been working for months to enhance instructional technology, create an innovative course design, and develop new teaching strategies to ensure our students have a first-rate educational experience. This process has energized and inspired our faculty as they find new ways to interact with our students. I appreciate the tremendous dedication, creativity, and innovation of our faculty and staff. Here at UC Santa Barbara, we are a family. As part of this family, we ask that you join us in fostering a supportive environment that realizes the full potential of every member of our community and uh, where each of us does your part to keep our community safe and healthy. We pride ourselves on being a campus that is inclusive, one that embraces our differences and nurtures respect without a discrimination. We encourage you to partner with us to promote these principles and to learn from the variety of perspectives represented in our vibrant community. During this pandemic time, life has changed. Therefore, if I can share just one important piece of advice, learn how to budget your time. Decide early on how are you going to budget your time this quarter. 
If you make a mistake in budgeting your money, you can borrow, or your parents and friends might help you. But if you make a mistake in budgeting your time, you cannot borrow, and no one can help you. I would like to challenge you to make three simple commitments to yourself. This is my simple formula of guaranteed success. First, commit not to cut any classes, even on Zoom. Can you do that? I'm sure your parents would say yes, you can. Second, this is a little harder. Before you go to bed each night, take just a five minutes to go over in your mind how are you going to go into budget your time the following day. Third, this might be the hardest. Commit the time to prepare and a follow up on each class you attend. Can you do that? If you can do all three, I promise you, you will be as successful a student as you want to be. If you don't, it will be too late. The quarter slips away quicker than you can ever imagine. We are proud to have you as our students. You are the reason all of us are here. Welcome to our community of scholars. Welcome to our UC Santa Barbara family. Now it is my honor to and a pleasure to introduce to you our keynote speaker, Vice Chancellor for Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, Belinda Robnett. Dr. Robnett is also a professor of sociology. She has served as chair of the American Sociological Association's Committee on Status of Women in Sociology, as well as the chair of the association's Creative Behavior and a Social Movement section. She is currently a member of the editorial board of journal Social Problems and a past member of the editorial board of the American Sociological Review. Her commitment to the study of the intersection of race, ethnicity, and gender emerged from her research for her book on the role of African-American women in the U.S. Civil Rights Movement. She recently received the University of California Hispanic Survey Institution Doctoral Diversity Initiative Grant for enhancing diversity and equitable inclusion thriving in the academy program. She is deeply committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion within higher education. We are fortunate to have the opportunity to hear from her today. Welcome, Vice Chancellor Robnett. Hello, welcome to UC Santa Barbara. My name is Belinda Robnett. I'm the inaugural Vice Chancellor for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion here at UCSB. Congratulations on joining a vibrant community that is currently ranked number six among the top public universities in the country by US News and World Report. In this century, according to the Times Higher Education in London, we are ranked ninth worldwide for producing the most Nobel laureates. We know how hard you have worked to get here. We also acknowledge the sacrifices that your family has made to support your achievement. I know that it hasn't been easy, and recent events have made the journey even more difficult. We applaud your endurance and fortitude in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic that has taken a toll on our communities and negatively impacted our lives. Under normal circumstances, many of you would have participated in a wonderful graduation ceremony, attended your prom, and now you would be moving into your dorm rooms. This must be disappointing, but we admire your resiliency and capacity to continue your educational journey. Whether you are someone poised to start your fresh person year, or you are joining us as a transfer student. Although for most of you, your initial campus experience will be through taking online Zoom classes, we also offer a wealth of college experiences. 
This is a time for exploration, for pushing the boundaries of your comfort zones to explore new ideas, new academic subjects, and unfamiliar cultures. UCSB offers numerous opportunities to attend lectures and cultural events online or in the future in person. As the pandemic draws to an end and travel becomes possible, I encourage you to participate in the numerous UCSB study abroad programs. Take intellectual risk. An important UC Santa Barbara goal is to train our students to be domestic and global citizens. Our diverse UC Santa Barbara campus provides you with numerous opportunities to expand your knowledge. Nationally, according to data from the US Department of Education, we are listed among the top 20 colleges with the most diverse student bodies. UC Santa Barbara was the first member of the prestigious Association of American Universities to be recognized as a Hispanic serving institution. We are also an Asian American Pacific Islander serving institution and a Native American serving institution. UC Santa Barbara ranked by the New York Times College Access Index as number two among the nation's top colleges most committed to economic diversity. Our campus embraces the core principles of social justice, diversity, equity, and inclusion that guide our vision and more importantly, our actions. These principles serve as pillars for community building and guide how we at UC Santa Barbara build our teams, cultivate our leaders, and create our organizational culture. These principles foster an environment where each member is truly empowered to bring their unique differences, point of view, and contributions to the university where you will experience acceptance, respect, inclusion, and the support needed to achieve your full academic and professional potential. We create a space where no one feels the need to edit their identity, much less render it invisible completely. The vision is in keeping with that of the University of California mission. The system's mission is that, quote, Diversity should be integral to the university's achievement of excellence, unquote. To do so, we embrace this historic promise, quote, to recognize and nurture merit, talent, and achievement by supporting diversity and equal to opportunity in our education, services, and administration, as well as research and creative activity. We must hold ourselves accountable. To that end, our mission includes strengthening historically underrepresented communities, both on campus and beyond. With diverse, uh, diversity, inclusion, equity, and social justice at the forefront of the University of California's core values, we strive to promote a culture that celebrates these principles and fosters a sense of belonging for all members of the UCSB community. Like many of you, I am horrified and deeply saddened by the pervasive and systemic racism and injustices within US institutions that we have, as a nation have yet to engage fully and resolve. I have lived through the civil rights movement, the black power movement, the Watts riots and the 1992 LA riots that sparked uh, that were sparked by the acquittal of police officers who were filmed viciously beating Rodney King. While the issues are not new, there has been an unprecedented swell of national outrage against anti-Black, anti-Asian, and many other forms of discrimination. UCSB is committed to diversity, to equity, and to inclusion. In keeping with our principles, we are poised to implement a five-year strategic plan to combat injustices driven by racism, sexism, homophobia, ableism, anti-Semitism, nativism, xenophobia, Islamophobia, genderism, uh, and uh, anti-indigeneity. 
and many other exclusionary practices. Well, I have focused a great deal on the UCSB principles and uh, your experiences uh, at UCSB and also encourage students to become active and engaged citizens. I also encourage you to engage in civil discourse, even heated discourse, when we disagree, and often we do. Thus, we strongly encourage our students also to become civically engaged, to vote, to vote, to vote. Do not allow cynicism to give way to complacency. Presidential elections are on November the 3rd. UC Santa Barbara has a long history and record for voter registration. The deadline to register is not October the 19th. Don't forget October 19th. And so I want to encourage you to register and get out to the polls. For many, this will be your first civic engagement at UCSB or maybe entirely. So look for our e emails with the link to register online and help us keep this UCSB tradition of civic engagement. Also, be sure to fill out the census. We're working hard to have our students complete it. The census 2020 deadline is tomorrow. Tomorrow, so get online and finish it, fill it out. If you are living locally and have not completed the questionnaire, do it today. This means more federal funding for federal loans, Pell Grants, CalFresh for UCSB and Isla Vista for the next 10 years. Check the email uh, with instructions uh, that we sent you last week. And so with that, I close. I say, stay safe, wear your mask. Hopefully you all received your mask uh, in the mail uh, and most of all, enjoy your UC Santa Barbara journey. Take intellectual risk, explore. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chancellor Robnett. Now, I'm pleased to introduce to you a fellow student, Davion Beasley, the president of UCSB's Associated Students. Davion Beasley is a rising senior majoring in sociology. During his time at UCSB, he has served both as a resident assistant and as the external vice president of statewide affairs, where he represented the undergraduate student body in federal and statewide legislative matters. Davion is also the director of internal affairs for the Coalition for a Better UC, a student advocacy group at UCSB dedicated to improving the livelihood and quality of education for students in the UC system. Davion will graduate in June and looks forward to serving you all as the student body president this year. Please welcome your Associated Students President, Davion Beasley. Hello, Gauchos. My name is Davion Beasley, and I'm your Associated Students President. Welcome to Paradise. As you know, this is no ordinary time for any of us. I wish the circumstances in which you are navigating your first quarter at UCSB could be different, but just because this year isn't how you might have envisioned it to be, doesn't mean that it can't be just as special. The faculty, staff, and student leaders on campus are excited and ready to make sure you feel as supported as possible. Throughout my time with you all today, I'd like to share from Maya Angelou's poem titled Still I Rise in segments. Just like you may be feeling today, she shares the transition needed to survive and thrive from not being in the best circumstances. Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hope springing high, still, I'll rise. For the few of you who are coming to campus or moving into Isla Vista, might have been difficult to say goodbye to your families and venture here to UCSB. For others who are staying home for distance learning, you might be wondering how in the world you're going to get through your first quarter of college on a screen. Either way, you now have the chance to make yourself home at UCSB, which will give you the opportunity to thrive academically while giving you the environment to grow and step outside your comfort zone. When you get tired of online courses or start to feel the very real and valid Zoom fatigue, always remember, 
You were accepted to this university because you are bold, inquisitive, and goal-driven. You have the power to overcome any challenge that presents itself during your time here. As Ms. Angela would have us know in her next three stanzas of her poem, I rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soulful cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard, cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I'll rise. There are so many avenues for you to de-stress and unplug from the bustle of our lives as students. Take the extra time you might have to rediscover yourself. Go on a social distance paint day with an old friend at a park in your community. Try a YouTube tutorial for a new recipe, art project, or hairstyle. Check out the Shoreline app, which every student can log into to find hundreds of events and ways to get involved every day. Whatever you do, we want you to try new things and create a stronger foundation for when we can return to campus safely as a stronger community. And speaking of creating a safer community, remember, wherever you are in the world, it is important to protect yourself and members of your community. Wear your mask whenever you leave your home. Be sure to social distance at all times, keeping at least six feet between you and other members of our community. Always stay up to date with recommendations from the CDC and your local health officials. It is important to keep every member of our community as safe and healthy as possible, and it's our responsibility to do everything we can to flatten the curve. The last segment of Miss Angela's poem reads as follows. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, Welling and swelling, I bear in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise. Into a daybreak that's wondrously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise. I rise. I rise. And because we're all students, you know I have to include my citations. This poem was published in 1978 by Random House, imprint and division of Penguin Random House LLC, all rights reserved. As your AS president, it is my job to make sure that no matter where you are in the world, your voice is heard and your needs are being taken care of. If there is ever a time you'd like to talk, ask questions, or just say hello, please connect with me via email at president at as.ucsb.edu. It is my honor to welcome you to your new home and I wish you all the best of luck on your journey. Thank you, Davion. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Margaret Clawoon, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, who will say a few words about the expectations we have for you as members of UC Santa Barbara's academic community. Hello and welcome students, faculty, staff, parents, and friends. I am Margaret Clawoon, and as the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, I oversee a number of departments that serve students outside of the classroom, from physical health and mental well-being to academic and learning support, cultural recognition and services, and student life and enrollment. New students, I am honored to be one of the first people to welcome you to the UC Santa Barbara community. Whether you are joining us from Santa Barbara, elsewhere in California, or someplace else in the world, we're glad that you are joining us at UCSB. This convocation is an important ritual as you begin your journey as students. Before I share some remarks with you, it is a valued and important tradition that we take a moment to respect and acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which this university resides, the Chumash people. I pay my respect to the Chumash elders as they hold the memories, traditions, and culture. We understand the importance of recognizing this area's rich history and culture, past and present, as well as the significance of Native American people's place in the learning and research activities of this university. There is no doubt that this is a fall quarter at UCSB unlike any other as we continue to grapple with the widespread effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. While this quarter will look different than what we had all imagined, I want to take a minute to highlight some of the moments that you can look forward to. 
First, this quarter will be filled with special moments from memorable and challenging courses to academic and personal services available online to reimagined events and new ways of building community. There are good things in store this fall. Second, we will eventually resume more traditional on-site operations. While your physical arrival on campus has been delayed, it's important to remember that day will come when we resume in person. We are looking forward to it, planning steadily, and cannot wait to give you a warm in-person welcome. And third, in the coming years, we will celebrate your graduation in person when you cross the stage at commencement. I hope the challenges presented by COVID-19 will be fading memories and that the learning, friendships, accomplishments, and fond memories you forge here will fill you with joy. We also recognize that this has been a year with significant challenges beyond COVID-19. We are here to face the inevitable tribulations and triumphs alongside you. I hope that some of your time at UCSB is spent finding your voice, however you decide to do that. You have amazing opportunities here to learn about anti-racist practice, to speak up against hate, and to advocate for social justice. As communities have taken to the streets to protest anti-Black racism and police violence and to stand in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement, you have an opportunity here to learn how to stand up for what matters to you, to learn to make change, and to open your mind. It is very important to me and to my colleagues that you know that you belong here. As the first woman in my family to attend college, it was part of my experience to wonder if I was good enough. You might be surprised to know that a number of your faculty and university leaders have reasons why our identities made us question if we belonged in academia. I am here today to tell you that you do belong. You belong in the most academically talented and diverse incoming class in the history of UC Santa Barbara. You earned your place. We see great potential in you. Each one of you with all your identities and experiences belongs here. I want to make sure you know something about the many departments and services throughout student affairs and the university that are available for you, some in person and some with remote operations. A wide range of services for mental and physical health, academic support, cultural support, and student life are here for you. While the approach may be different this quarter, our committed and knowledgeable staff remain as dedicated as ever to your academic success and personal well-being. Along with the caring medical professionals in our student health service who are providing COVID-19 testing and care, one of the other services that continues to operate in person and online as an essential service during the COVID-19 pandemic is our Student Needs Advising Center or SNAC in the University Center. Along with the Financial Crisis Response Team and other partners that help students to secure basic needs including food, housing, and finances. The most important advice I can give you today is to reach out to others. Reach out to fellow students for support and friendship, to university staff for guidance and advising, and to our world-class faculty who will inspire your engagement in both your studies and creative research endeavors. Something that makes UC Santa Barbara particularly special is our caring attitude toward one another. When you can, be the one to offer support to someone else. Actions as, sim as simple as messaging a classmate to introduce yourself or sharing encouragement can go a long way in improving your experience and that of the person you connect with. Peer-to-peer -peer support is critical however you are attending courses this quarter in stopping the spread of COVID-19. Through collective efforts to follow public health guidance, including physical distancing, wearing masks and limiting in-person gatherings to those we live with can speed up the process for getting COVID-19 under control, which will allow us to resume on-campus operations. UCSB students are influential on campus, in our community, and in their careers beyond graduation. Many of you will have opportunities this fall to register to vote, to vote perhaps for the first time, and to participate in the U.S. Census. All of these are important opportunities for civic engagement. If you are eligible, please respond to the census, register to vote, and vote. In a broader sense, 
Consider what values animate you and what difference you want to make in the world. Each of us has an important role to play and a core principle of the University of California is that its graduates will go on to be future leaders in many different ways. Your work as a leader begins here and spans a lifetime. Again, welcome to UCSB and the new academic year. Transfers in 2022 and freshmen in 2024, I look forward to celebrating your graduation in person as you cross the stage at commencement. May great learning, friendships, accomplishments, and fond memories fill the quarters between now and then. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chancellor Klawoon. In a moment, you will participate in a ceremonial act that represents both a culmination and a new beginning for you, your induction into the University of California, Santa Barbara. I am Professor Susanna Scott, Chair of the UC Santa Barbara Academic Senate. I ask all of our new freshmen and transfer students, wherever you are, to please rise as you are able. It is my honor to present to Chancellor Yang, UC Santa Barbara's newest class of entering freshmen and transfer students. On behalf of the University of California, Santa Barbara, I welcome all of you to our university and call upon you to fulfill your responsibilities. As proud students of our academic community, in turn, I offer you the university's full support of your academic and personal growth. Thank you, Chancellor Yang and Dr. Scott, and congratulations to you all. At this time, I ask everyone to please remain standing wherever you may be, as Naked Voices leads us in singing the official university song, Hail to California. The next time you hear this song, you'll be celebrating your graduation from UCSB. Hail to California, alma mater dear. Sing the joyful chorus, sounding far and near. Thank you to Naked Voices. Students, you have a lot to do and a lot to learn during your time at UC Santa Barbara. Make the most of it. I wish to thank all our campus community members for joining us today as we welcome our newest gauchos to the UCSB community. Members of the class of 2022 and 2024, congratulations and welcome to UCSB.